a camper van I've got in front of me is the Heimer Grand Canyon S. And this camper van, as you can see, is on a Mercedes base, which means to say that it's going to be 593 centimeters in length. The bad news is it's gonna cost 80,000 euros. The Grand Canyon uh, camper van also comes on a Fiat basis, and the Fiat basis is 20,000 euros cheaper. Approximately everything to do with prices and camper vans and motorhomes in general is approximately because it depends on the equipment levels shown. And that is difficult to uh, often to, to, to explain. Indeed, you know, I often get asked, what is the cheapest van or something like that? It's very difficult to say. I can say what the cheapest van is on the base price, but not on uh, by the time you've added essential things, which include delivery and paperwork. All right, having said all that, let's have a look at some of the, uh, the storage in here. It's re relatively good. Now, of course, this, uh, this part of the bed will lift up to give more space and under there's quite a lot of space, but I'm gonna show you that in a different vehicle where the lights are actually on. Here we have a fridge. Well, I hurt myself opening that. <laughs> and uh, there's a bit of storage also below. I'll take you into the washroom because I think the washrooms in some of these vans are quite good. Uh, here we've got a duckboard, which is uh, the same as the floor. You can hardly tell it is a duckboard. Uh, sink is out in this position. I'm not a fan of these sinks at all because they, they just they break in no time at all. And uh, particularly, I mean, okay, this one's in a showroom. I don't even want to try. I think I think looking at the thing here it says, but I think it is broken. But uh, I can understand getting broken in the showroom, but because people don't know how to use them. But even people at home, eventually, have, you have somebody else come in. They won't know how to use the thing. And yeah, I can see this one here is broken. So um, I've made my I've made my point on that one. Right. So toilet below and the sink. Uh, sinks broken and the mirrors up here. So I'll open this and like that. Fortunately, you see, lights aren't on. Ah, maybe the lights aren't on because I didn't turn the 12 volt on. Let's have a look and see if that is the problem. I can't remember. Did I or didn't I turn it on? We shall find out. It may well be my fault. Well, where's the 12 volt? It's up here, and it's there. You see, it's not my fault. It do All right, into the kitchen, same as every camper van ever made in the history of camper vans, two, uh, two sinks and a, two sinks, no, no, two hobs and a sink, that's it. You get one hob, just a minute, let's get this right. You get one sink, that's the sink, and you get two hobs, there you go. Uh, storage under here and what could be in here there you go there's, there's you there's your gas oh I didn't show you this as well this bit here comes out don't know if that's really necessary but uh, anybody got any opinions on that one do write them down there you go shows you the uh, that drawer as well and a uh, forward facing bench, little table here. Uh, some of them come with a tent in the roof. I, I couldn't be bothered with a tent in the roof myself, but, uh, but people do want them. That's got a nice uh, skylight up there. Fridge there, storage under the fridge. I remember the fridge, I hurt myself opening it. And if I sit down here in my favorite seat, oh, this is nice and comfortable and you see it's on the mercedes which is always nice to have it this comes in version 4x4 and not 4x4 as as is required now having mentioned how much it costs there are those who might think it's worth trying it on the fiat so let's go and see the fiat one point i will point out here it's got a mos uh, fly net a mosquito net whatever they're called. Let's uh, now come round to see the Fiat version, which is down here. And you can see some of the others that are here at the same time.
This one here is easier to explain from because of the way it's been laid out. There you go. Oh, sorry, I said 60,000. Sorry, 68,500. But this one does have a tent in the roof, and that will make up a significant part of the uh, cost. So, well, this bit looks the same. Yeah, it definitely looks the same to me. All right, this is different, and it's got the same sink. Uh, this one uh, mightn't have been broken yet, and uh, it's got the uh, toilet. And so this this bit here is a bit different. It does come with this. Now this version here has got an extra six centimeters on top of the the Mercedes version. Okay, so the bed here has been put up. So let's uh, let's just put this up. So you can see what's under it. So we've got the storage below, and I think in the Heimer vans, Heimer camper vans, the storage is actually very nicely done. It's it, compared to other brands. Now I don't, I don't really like these things, but I think it's it's quite accessible here compared to others. So I, that I, that I do appreciate. Another little thing, just a little thing, but. The space here at the back to put deck chairs or other outdoor equipment, and uh, I think that's always a useful little thing, in my opinion. So, what's the difference between a Fiat and a Mercedes? Other than the price, well, personally, if somebody said to me, "Do you want a Mercedes or a Fiat?" I would take a Mercedes, but but I like the. Personally, I prefer the, the way the Mercedes drives to the Fiat. I, I, think, I feel I've got more contact with the road, but uh, I think the Fiat is a lighter drive, in my opinion. Others may think differently, but uh, I think if it came to buying it, I would probably go for the Fiat. Of course, if you're buying it used, you get what you're given. So you can see some of the other vans here, six meters. This one's only 541, definitely worth a look. Uh, and uh, so, straight back to this one here. Heimer Grand Canyon S on the Mercedes uh, basis. I uh, hope you found that of interest. And if you did, then you might want to subscribe. And if you didn't, then you won't subscribe anyway. So, thanks for watching and all the best from Bad Waldsee, Germany.